Hello, I'm Robert Kirchhoff. First of all, a little bit about me. I worked at Johns Hopkins in the medical department for a long time. And then later I worked actually for quite a while in psychiatric and substance abuse treatment places in Florida. In this course, we're going to talk about problems with drug and alcohol at work. Employees who abuse drugs and alcohol create a huge problem for many companies. Billions are spent on decreased productivity, injuries to people, theft, and damage to companies' reputations. People can cause problems even with their behavior outside of work, such as higher medical costs, or if the employee is known as a staff member of your company and their behavior outside of work, you know, can reflect on your brand and your reputation. I think everybody's heard of somebody who can't wait to get out of work on Friday, likes to drink all weekend, go to the clubs, party, comes in late and hungover Monday morning. You might know somebody with a drug problem. They always look tired. They're not alert. They're borrowing money, maybe even steal things. We're going to talk about what you can do about drugs and alcohol at work, whether you're a worker, a supervisor, or even if you have a problem yourself. You might have seen employees who obviously have a problem, but the issue can go a little deeper. Somebody with a bad back, he's got pain medicine from the doctor for a while, but he's taking too much and it impairs their safety and productivity. Marijuana is legal now in some places. It might not even be included in some drug tests anymore. However, if someone smokes weed before they come to work, they're not going to be right for most jobs. If you're a manager or a supervisor, of course, you're going to have to deal with people with drug and alcohol problems at your company from time to time. If you're not a supervisor, you may think this is something you don't have to worry about. However, if you're aware of a coworker who's coming to work intoxicated or impaired, you might have a duty to report them. Besides for companies, drug and alcohol abuse is a huge burden on the abusers themselves, their families, and their loved ones. In many places, life expectancy has actually decreased because of premature deaths from opiate overdoses. People buy street drugs that are adulterated with toxic substances, such as fentanyl, that make it impossible for the user to know how much he's getting. These drugs depress the respiratory system. The person can die quickly if they don't receive help. In this course, we're going to talk about alcohol and several types of drugs that people use what people look and act like when they're under the influence, and what you can do as a co-worker or manager. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this course.